okay so welcome guys this is the part 3 of my uh, consecutive series on stonewall attack so binanggit ko kanina nung nakaraan na uh, this is the anti uh, stonewall move bishop g4 and after f3 knight f4 uh, alex triponski played i'm sorry not e5 bishop g6 and after takes takes h takes g6 uh, f4 Okay, so tumuloy pa rin sa stonewall attack. Uh, let's try to compare both position. Here in this position, the bishop on d3, wala na siyang kat ka ka katapat, no? Wala na yung dark light square bishop nung nung black para tapatan yung bishop ng puti sa d3. So he basically he has the two bishops, but he is playing the stonewall attack. Uh, Possibly c4 and c3 as well, but f4 is necessary para ma avoid or ma prevent yung e5 break ng black, which opens up the position. Although two bishops yung white, uh, medyo underdeveloped siya compared sa black. No? So uh, that's one. After uh, sorry, after f4, sa na ako. After f4. Uh, black continued with e6. Uh, well, basically, nilalagay ng itim yung pawn niya sa opposite color ng in-exchange yung bishop, which is basically uh, rule sa middle game na kung ano yung nawalang bishop mo or kung ano yung bishop na nag-i-exist sa'yo na tira sa'yo, i-place mo sa opposite color yung bishop mo. So, rito, green yung or itim yung ginagalaw ng bishop ng black, kaya nilalagay ng black sa puti yung mga pawns niya to make his bishop very active. So, c3, well, um, hindi naman nag-worry yung white masyado sa mobility ng dark square bishop niya, no? Kasi nilalagay niya nga sa, sa grid lahat ng pawn niya, eh, nandun ba yung bishop niya? Kasi, uh, yung mga pawns naman niya ay ginagawa yung function ng pag-control ng dark square, no? Yung kakulangan ng bishop, ginagampanan ng pawn niya. So, uh, yung line of pawns na c3, d4, e3, and f4, it works together like the dark square bishop. Okay. And basically, ito namang dark square bishop na to, it can, it can uh, be exchanged via bishop d2, bishop e1, and bishop h4 later. Or some, or it can also develop via b3, bishop b2. So, hindi masyadong problem, pro, uh, problematic yung position ng, ng bishop na yun. For bishop d6, castle, queen e7. Preparing queenside castle. Uh, well, queenside castle is uh, an idea para ma prevent yung yung onslaught ng white sa kingside. So after queen e7, queen e2. Uh, alam na ng white na po kakasal sa queenside yung black kaya medyo pinopoise yung pieces niya pa poda sa queenside. Now Stripunski strangely placed g5 inatake niya yung dark square no para mabukasan yung pawn structure ng white no? maybe expecting white to play g3 uh, and after takes takes for example g3 and after takes here castle queen side which is considered favorable for black maybe after rook g8 and then g5 possible no? ito yung expectations niya well uh, takes naman is suicide because of bishop takes h2 king f2 of course king h1 is knight h5 and threatening knight g3 check no, hindi pwede ito kasi may tirang ganun may mati rito so king f2 knight e4 check oh, sorry knight e4 check and after takes <coughs> queen takes g5 um, I consider it very dangerous kasi kapag uh, sinave ng white yung bishop queen g3 is made <coughs> so possible is queen f3 to give room for the king and after takes takes uh, queen g6 followed by castle queen side with a very strong attack for black okay Okay, the main problem in this line is that after g5, white is not forced to play g3 or even fg5, but instead he can just play knight f3. And now, after takes takes, 
it's a helping move kasi na medyo nagkaroon ng scope yung bishop ng pwesto sa e3 nagkaroon ng opening sa e5 half open e5 at medyo na solid na wala yung pressure sa center ng white so he is almost forced to play g4 which uh, for me it's an unsound pawn sacrifice kasi napakahirap depensahan niyan uh, yung pawn na yan dahil nauna siya sa, sa risk i consider this move uh, risky so after knight e5 castle queen side offers the pawn um Yakovic, I mean Yakov, Norwich play g3, which um, Nimzovic called prophylaxis. No, white prepares to defend the h pawn from an attack on the h pawn before grabbing the g pawn. So, hindi naman tatakbo yung pawn na to eh. So, ang gagawin niya, so solid niya muna tong weakness niya sa h5, sa h2, before niya i-capture yung, yung g4. Okay, so... What happens if uh, after after let's say for example instead of castle queen side let's go back instead of castle queen side black plays g3 okay hindi naman yun nakakatakot kasi pag kinaya mo medyo may play yung black after kasi may open h file siya but instead white plays h3 and after h3 castle queen side rook f3 knight e4 takes takes i consider this position as uh, advantage for white so castle queen side was played g3 knight e4 takes takes it had to be played in order to defend it uh, but he captures it. So white has one upon, but black has gained initiative on the king side. Medyo may attacker yung black sa king side. No? Pero, may, not, not without counter chances. May counter chances naman sa queen side yung, yung white. So at this usually happens if it's opposite side castling, the battle is on the wings. No? Sa, sa wings na ang labanan. Na rook h3. <laughs> okay, this following Nimzovic, uh, idea which is to restrain blockade and destroy so black targets the h2 pawn by blockading it on light square okay now white plays b4 a typical uh, pawn storm on the queen side and after rook d h8 rook f2 knight f8 well Itong knight na ito pupunta to sa f3, papunta ng h7. So, pupunta dito, dito, tas doon. Kaya dyan nang ikot. Kasi pag um, mabagal yung black, let's say, he plays queen g after rook g2, secure na yun, ng white yung mga squares na kailangan niya i-defend. So, nothing to worry in, no? his queen side attack will, will now commence. So, knight f8. b5 takes takes okay so naging successful siya para buksan yung <coughs> sorry buksan yung file na yun yung queen side knight a7 rook b1 g5 bishop a3 now um, white's bishop na was dead on the earlier game comes alive but joins join nag join sa atake niya well if black plays knight f3 here king f1 lang uh, hindi pwedeng kainin eh kasi may rook takes h2 so after knight f3 king f1 Next king f1 Hmm. Ah, pwede yung tira ng block niya. Well, I don't know, maybe queen c7. After queen c7. Kasi pag, pag kumain kasi sa h2. Pag kumain sa h2, na it takes h2. 
king e2 queen c7 and bishop d6 medyo malakas ang white eh so queen c7 agad muna queen c7 and after bishop d6 a6 counter and then queen a4 uh, which is uh, medyo kamuka similar sa nangyari sa game let's try to go back Sorry, after uh, Bishop a3, Queen c7, Bishop d6, a6, Queen a4. Well, actually, instead of Queen a4, parang mas maganda yung Queen b3. Let's say, for example, Queen d7, Queen b6. And then rook takes h2. Queen a7. So, medyo may may attack eh. Yung white na medyo it's hard to meet. Well, let's try to see. Queen a4 which is the actual game simulation. Knight f3 check. King f1. Queen f7. And in this position it looks like white's attack has already come to a stop no? parang here black will uh, will now play knight takes h2 rook takes h2 and parang ma overwhelm na yung uh, um, forces ng white but here um Yaakov uh, Norwitz saw um queen c6 check which is a very very nice move <laughs> well, after the game, they say both players said rook b5 is more effective since it takes place on the light square and takes advantage of that. Mm, let's say, for example, black plays knight take h2, white plays rook takes h2 and wins after rook c5. I leave the rest of the continuation to you. Analyze me panali. So instead of uh, knight takes h2 at kinaya mo naman yung rook, what happens? Siyempre, check. b7, queen, queen b7, check. And after king, queen d8, and uh, it goes to a mate on c8. So. Yung nangyari, hindi pwedeng kainin yung rook. And if black plays, um, I don't know, rook takes h2. Rook takes h2. The same thing happens. h5. Here. And, uh, uh, so let's look and see. I don't really know what happens, pero... I think advantage of white dito after queen a5 and rook c8 actually mati ako na rin so yung mate threat pala yun so hindi pwede rook takes h2 let's look at the game continuation queen c6 check takes rook b8 b7 b7 king a8 B8 and both players agreed to a draw which is supposed to be a win for white a very exciting game now let's look at the second game uh, played by the same white player Yaakov Norwitz versus no other than uh, Veselin Topalov a world title contender world class player after D5 E3 C6 Bishop d3, knight f6, and knight d2. Same move. Bishop g4. This is very uh, popular in the GM level and considered anti stonewall, especially if you're a Slav player. <laughs> so knight e2, following the same game. Bd7, f3, 
bishop h5. F4 follows the same uh, opening moves. So F4, E6, castle, castle, bishop E6, knight F3, and then knight E4. Well, uh, I don't really consider this as a good move. Maybe Topalov plans to follow it up with knight f6. Well, iniisip siguro yung Topalov, two bishop siya, so hindi basta-basta i-give up ng white yung good bishop niya kapalit ng knight, which will leave him with a bad bishop on c1. But instead, he's not afraid to do that. And after d takes e4, knight g5, knight f6, c4 and slowly we can see na parang advantage na yung white pagdating sa position kasi yung light squares is uh, on his control because of his queen and pawn formation uh, topalo plays c5 queen a4 as, as you see king e7 Ma Actually, mas safe ang king f8. I don't know why Topalov plays king e7. It's bishop b4 and bishop b6. I think here is the uh, crucial move here. If 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 black is not careful and played bishop d4, hindi pa din kaya kasi rook less pag kinain. So, rook b1. Knight g4, queen a3, bishop b6, h3, knight f6, c5 is considered advantage for white. Kaya hindi pinasok ni Topalov yung line na yun. But instead, he immediately re retreats to b6, and after c5, bishop c7, rook d1, queen e8, p5, syempre. When you're in the attack, you should avoid exchange, especially yung mga pieces na active na no? um, um, ginagamit mo para atakin yung kalaban. Rook d8. Bishop to a3. King f8. C6 check. And after king g8, queen takes a7. Knight g4. Now here's a questionable move Because usually if you're in a, a disadvantaged position You should look for ways to equalize the position Not to further destroy it So instead of uh, knight g4 I recommend knight d5 Which closes the d file Sinasara niya yung d file at, uh, Medyo renders the rook on d1 harmless so instead, knight g4 was played, and then after queen takes b7, actually b6 is stronger, it wins immediately, b6. Queen takes b7, keeping it simple, knight takes c3, rook takes d8, queen takes d8, b6. Which is very unnecessary and gives uh, black some counterplay. But instead of b6, uh, bishop c5 should be winning for white. So instead b6 was played. And queen d2 was played by Topalov. Siguro time pressure na sila rito, no? Pero I would suggest rook takes h2. Which is better. Because let's say for example yan, kain dito, king h1 lang, rook h2, and then king g1, and black can do a perpetual. If white takes here, then he will be mated by black after queen d2. Okay, so instead Topolo played queen d2. After queen c8, bishop d8, queen takes d8, a very amazing move. Just to prove 